Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy's Couch. Let me tell you, it's really weird doing that intro after hearing the mod do my own intro when I enter the world, but it was kind of a good template. I felt like it really helped me get the, uh, the cadence right, right from the very start. But yeah, welcome back. We're back for another day of our summoning adventure. It's, uh, it's Sunday today, the very end of the week, and what a week it's been. PlayStation 5, I did one consistent week of uploads. I did seven uploads in a row without even realizing it, and I'm really proud of it. Um, It's been great all around. There's a new Zelda game out, which I haven't played yet. Wow, what a week. Tell you what I'm going to do, though, to round off the week. I need to clean my office. I'm looking around, and I'm just like, this is a hovel. <laughs> like, I'm just, the, the guilt is setting in. I sat, I sat down to record, and I didn't really think about it. But now I've started, I'm just like, this is bad. <laughs> Everything needs dusting. You get dust around computers quite easily, don't you? Does anybody else notice that? Have you got a computer? Do you get dust around? I need a duster. Anyway, cracking on. Uh, what are we doing today? Well, uh, we left off the last episode trying and failing to do Revengeance Mode Eater of Worlds. Uh, I was not too surprised by that at all um, because I, yeah, I kind of went into it just kind of, oh, oh, look at that. That's nice. Oh, this is actually a really, really good reminder. What do we need to do? Come on, you all know it. We need to, um, we desperately, desperately, desperately need to make a new pickaxe because at this point, it's getting a bit of a choke. Um, so let my let my fungal clump do the work and we'll make a new pickaxe. Um, but yeah, so I failed a year of worlds. That's fine. Today, we're going to go into it mainly to kill time. So let me show you this real quick. So we have the goblin army next. Now, I know if I was to do the goblin army, get a tinkerer, get some upgrades, we would do a lot better because we can, you know, bunch up some together so that we can have more summons and such. Um, but it just means waiting around. So apparently there is a one in three chance of occurring every dawn if at least one orb has been destroyed. That is cool. You need 200 health and there's not an already a goblin army. Right, so it's done by health. I always thought it's done by defense. Um, I'm definitely not a wiki, but yeah, we're going to be killing time today um, so that, you know, a natural one spawns in. But the good thing about us is we have the um, the sleep mod, so we can basically skip time and, and just kind of move on. Right, what pickaxe do we make? Cactus, reef claw, a reef claw hammock. That's kind of cool. Also, it's an axe and a hammer. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's just make the silver one. We'll make the silver one, and then I can say I've done an upgrade, all right? It's finally time. Is there a hammer to make? Do we just make a lead hammer? Wait, is this is this got a bit of hammer to it? It has. All right, we can bin the Boreal one. Wow, look at that. I didn't expect to come into this and make such a, such big upgrades, but there we are. Oh, sorry, going back again. I'm a... I'm a <laughs> Sometimes I come in and I just can't keep a, a straight line of thought. We need to check how many rotten chunks we have. We have five... And we also need to see how many vile mushrooms we have. And we have six. All right. This is great. Six is the perfect amount. That's the required amount. And I tell you what, getting used to magical storage again. Uh, we don't need to keep running back around and all this. We can just make the uh, the powder here. The, um, the vile powder. So slap 30 of that. All right. Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the corruption. We're going to head there. Get our rotten chunks once again to, to kill time. I kind of want to leave this meteorite, by the way, just because I think it's it's quite interesting to have a little meteorite between the two houses. Um, but yeah, we're going to kill time. You know the drill. Look, <laughs> I'm not keeping a straight line of thought. That's fine. That's fine. But I hope you've all been doing well. Uh, I was away for, for two days. One of those days, I recorded uh, an amazing collaboration. It's already out on, on Chippy Gaming. Hopefully, you've seen it with, uh, with Elpa. And let me tell you, this is, um, this is the ideal situation for me. And this is serious, right? If you're another YouTuber and you want to work with me and I'm a, and I like your stuff already, let's just do it. Because all Elpa did was he sent me a message the night before and said, hey, got a fun idea. Are you free tomorrow? I was free the next day. And we just jumped into a call and we did it. He was on time and everything else. It was bliss. And that's the kind of the way I like to, if I ever work with anybody, oh my God, that was top tier. And I really had fun with it. 
So, um, so I'd like to do more stuff with him in the future, for sure. And people seem to really like it, which was good. Um, yeah, just really happy. How you doing, Ben? Still miserable? Yep. All right. So I did kind of joke about going into a, a gaming coma with the PlayStation 5. And then the very next day, I, uh, I took two days off. Um, I did not fall into the gaming coma, but I did in fact uh, play through and complete uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. And it was pretty good. I mean, it was exactly what I was expecting, you know, a smaller Spider-Man game to, to fill the gap. Yeah, it's not very long at all, like at all. I 100%ed it and it didn't take me long. Like it really felt like I was done in about eight to 10 hours, but it's fine. I guess if I didn't get the remastered version of Spider-Man PlayStation 5 bundled in, I would kind of be fuming because of the price. Like it was more expensive than the last game at launch and it had like half the content. But overall, I, I really did enjoy it. And the city looked amazing. Um, so if you weren't around last year, uh, I took a, a big trip to, to New York last year in the in the winter and it snowed and it was, you know, this most, it was the most magical moment of my life, all right? People from New York are like, nah, come on. <laughs> but but when you don't live there, it, it's amazing. And, um, and it really like, I don't know, made me very nostalgic for it. You know, obviously it's a year where we can't travel or anything like that. So um, I don't know, it gave me a good feeling. And I think that's that's not something I was expecting to get out of it. But yeah, I would I would highly recommend it. What I will say is, if you have a PlayStation 4, uh, don't don't wait for the PlayStation 5 version. The second I got into the game, I slapped off the 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 fancy looking graphics because it ran at half the frame rate. And I think when it's running at half the frame rate, it's kind of nauseating. So just play it on the PlayStation 4, which is pretty much how it. Just check it out on PlayStation 4. That's that's all I would say. I, I wouldn't wait for a PlayStation 5 at all. Um, but yeah, overall, really good. So just in terms of uh, the games I want to work on next, basically, I still have to finish up Assassin's Creed because I, I put a pause on that to play Spider-Man, uh, which was good because I'd played a lot of Assassin's Creed very quickly, um, but loved every minute of it, honestly. Uh, so I want to finish up Assassin's Creed, and then once that's done, I'm going to play through the new Zelda, which, uh, which did arrive the other day. And, um, and then after that, I kind of want to play Assassin's Creed Revelations. I was having a little look at my PlayStation achievements, and I saw that it's my 10-year anniversary of playing through Assassin's Creed 2. And it got me very nostalgic, and now I want to play a little bit of uh, Ezio Auditore, right? That's, that's, that's the next thing. So I got that downloaded on the, the PlayStation as well. Very pumped for that. Oh. 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 Oh, I fell to my death. I forgot I didn't have anything for fall damage. Oh, I was so confused. It took me like a good 10 seconds. It's because I did that thing with uh, with Elpa and I had wings. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, okay. All right. It's a little bit different. Um, I need three more three more rotten meat. So then I'm, I'm good to go. I'll also buy some buffs and such. Oh, so one of the things I am going to do, by the way, is I'm going to swap out the uh, cloud in a bottle... I'm going to get rid of my double jump, I know, which is weird for me because I love I love movement. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to swap it out for, um, for the jelly. So I did get a comment from you lot that said that you see the little summoning crystal. It's actually, I, I might get this completely wrong. All right. But I think somebody said, use your highest damaging summons to spawn in the crystal um, because then it makes the crystal more powerful, something like that. Um... I can believe that. I can get behind that. So I'm using the Krampus to spawn it in and then the Belladonna for everything else. All right. So I need one more rotten chunk. So we're going to grab... Oh, no. Oh, God. I almost died in the same spot. Uh, I'm going to grab my last rotten chunk. But as you can see, it's now uh, it's now nighttime. So this is good for us because what it means is uh, we can skip the night using the uh, using the bed. And then once we've done that, let me get rid of this. I love that we have all these different towns, but until we get teleporters, it's a bit of a nuisance. Um, oh, no, the bed's in the other one. Yeah, but every time we, we skip a night, we get a chance of a goblin army, basically. So uh, one thing that was funny about that collaboration is um, is basically beforehand, uh, Elpa, you know, uploaded his video, got it ready, and I saw his video title, and it was something like, 
you know, he, he 1v1'd me in a, in a fun way. I thought, that's that's a cool title. I was like, what do I, what do I title mine now? Because mine was going to be about, you know, 1v1ing and stuff like that. And I thought, well, the funniest part about it was at the end when he started to, to hunt me. And get spoilers if you haven't seen the video. So I, 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 like, I called it something like I was hunted in Terraria. And then I found out that being hunted in a game is like a really cool little trend. And I had no idea. And sometimes I do feel like that. I feel like um, I feel like a bit of a boomer on YouTube. I think it's because I've been making videos for 10 years. I'm often kind of, uh, I kind of stay in my lane with, with the YouTubers I watch. Like I'm still watching YouTubers I watched 10 years ago, um, which is a bit mad. And I'm like, oh, that's really cool. Like now I kind of want to do something like that where it's more like that. So maybe I'll figure out a way to do it. I don't know. I don't know if it's one, because everybody kept mentioning this YouTuber called Dream, which some of you have mentioned before as well, as somebody like, I think he was like the fastest growing person or something like that. Amazing stuff, but I, I've never actually um, seen them before. So I don't know if it's like their thing or it's like a, a, a broader thing. So I'm going to have to do my research, but it sounds really cool. Like, that sounds like a really cool idea. I can see why it's a, a mini trend. I was meant to check it out, but I, actually, I was going to check it out last night and, like, see what it's all about. But I didn't really get the time to. That's cool. It's funny because I stumbled across... Um, I did the same thing with the uh, the Terraria server video where we made the server and we put it in a Chippy's couch comment and let people do, like, you know, just do what they want. I didn't know an anarchy server was a thing. Never heard of the phrase ever. And now I'm, I see it everywhere and I love it. And I watch, um, what, what's his name? Oh God, you all know the name. When I talk about anarchy server, you know, you know what I'm on about. What's his name? God, what is his name? Bold man. <laughs> I love him. I think he's great. What is his name though? I can't remember. 2B2T, the guy who does that. All right, let's just get into this before I just... Before I let on too much that I don't have a very good memory. <laughs> it's not a medical thing, don't worry. You can bully me for it. I just, I'm just forgetful. Okay, all right. I know I'm forgetful because every day I have to ask Courtney what day of the week it is. <laughs> before I record these. And even like, even though I'm just like, Monday's my favorite day. That's the only day I remember. That's the only day I get excited about. So I've got to be careful here, by the way, because... Oh yeah, I forgot. The music is, is blaringly loud. Um, I've just got to be careful here because uh, it will start spitting uh, cursed flames at a certain point. Now I don't know if that's because in the last episode, if I because I took it up too high, or genuinely because um, man, I'm gonna have to turn off that mod. I really hate to say it, unless they alter their music a little bit. The sound is great. Like I love the music. Sorry, I I'm gonna shut up because <laughs> I just moaned about that last time. I have lost my train of thought though. So as you can see, it is it is firing out the vile spit. And that's because I'm... Now, is that... I know it's an expert mode change, but is it always because you've taken it too high? Or is it just because uh, it does it anyway during expert mode? I really should know this, but most of the time when I do uh, the Eater of Worlds, it it ends rather quickly, so it's not really too much of an issue. I tell you what, I'm finding good success, actually, just bobbing around up here. It's not, like, amazing, but... Oh, there you go. So it's starting to spit. Maybe it starts to spit cursed flames at a, a certain point, like a certain health. I don't know if I'm doing better or worse than last time. I'm not really uh, keeping keeping track. I'm just focusing on my movement. I'm not really looking too much at the uh, the health bar. I think the fungal clump is, is doing good work though, isn't it? Look, the fungal clump is working on the head as I bob around. Come on. Oh, this is... We're doing it. All right, I can look at the health bar now. Sick. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stay... I'm going to stay up here, though. Oh, I'm really glad this has gone well. All right, new record. Amazing. Once again, another plea to the mod maker. Just turn the music down. It's just louder than the other music in the game. But it is good. Oh, wow. All right, that was sick. I really, really enjoyed that. That was fun. That was a, it was a very satisfying way to win. A very satisfying way to win. It felt very earned. Because it was fun. All right, okay. Let me just uh, double check and have a little look around. Let's see what's about. Oh, God. My mouse. My mouse is not working again. I can't, oh, there you go. Christ, Razer products are garbage. <laughs> they actually are, though. And I really wish they weren't because I really like I really like their design. I do. I like their design. I like their branding. I like their packaging. I hate their quality control. It's garbage. This is my third Razer mouse. 
And I wish that, because I had a Logitech. I got, Logitech sent me a lovely mouse for Christmas last year. I was very grateful. But I had to swap it out because I just couldn't get used to it when I was playing shooter games. So I went back to a mouse that I already had. Oh, forget about it. It's annoying. Right, okay. The Eater of Worlds. Perhaps it was just a giant worm infected by the microbe. Given centuries to feed and grow its festering body. Seems likely, given the origins of this place, deadly microbes spawn around you while this item is favorite. However, you have decreased life regen due to your skin rotting off. Oh, I never did the thing. I never swapped over. Uh, to be fair, I think it would have killed me now, looking back. All right. So did I... Oh, I didn't even use any Belladonna. I would... The plan was two crabs and a Belladonna. Wow. All right. Two paper tubes, uh, a torn note. It is not well known, but the wing of this world allows you to make Ego e equipment. Ego? Ego. Wow. Sounds like a YouTuber. Sounds like me. Uh, which is unique in its own ways. Um, okay. If the wing of the world is placed in empty housing, it attracts a special NPC called the Operator. If you're wondering what ego stands for, here it is. Extermination of geometric organ. All right, cool. Uh, there is something else, but you cannot read it without... All right, okay. So this is number two. We're going to get number three before we get into that. Worm scarf, uh, demonite, shadow scales, all the good stuff. All the good stuff. Uh, I'm going to go check out the, the pylon dude real quick. Um, ben. Ben, Ben, Ben. Does anybody remember Bill and Ben, the flower pot men? Have a little Google of that. Have a little Google of Bill and Ben, flower pot men. That was a bop when I was a kid, right? It was two little goofy people made out of plow flower pots. Made of flower pots. It was, it was amazing. All right. I remember when I was a kid, <laughs> my granddad had a bunch of um, small little flower pots in his, um, in his greenhouse. And I remember trying to string them together because flower pots have a little uh, hole in the bottom to let the water out and i remember trying to string them together to make my own little bill and ben and instead i just broke about four of them <laughs> and i never told him i felt really awful i did i did a similar thing as well where i kicked a football and i broke his uh greenhouse one of his panels and i never told him <laughs> i feel really awful about it it's fine it's fine oh god all right so the pile on npc sells nothing all right well, I think for today, uh, that will actually wrap it up. Tomorrow when we come back, we're going to be doing uh, the Goblin Army. So that's like a whole thing in itself. Uh, and then the Hive Mind. I can't wait for the Hive Mind. The Hive Mind is, um, is a very classic thing. Before we do go, though, I do want to take a little look at um, Demonite and, and what it can be used to, to craft for. Something that would be nice is if I could learn how to use the... Um, the magic storage thing a little bit better. I'll tell you why. Because I do this thing every single season where I... One sec. I'm trying to think. Oh, the, oh yeah. yeah. The, 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 forget about it. Forget about it. I was just about to say... I, I, I was getting confused with that. <laughs> Moving on. Um, yeah, I do this thing every season where I never figure out how to use this part properly. So I might... I might need a, another lesson from you lot. So, we make the demonite bars. 81. Alright. And then we see in our storage heart... No, wait. What do we do? So, you can show all recipes. No, you don't want that. Show available recipes. What I want to do is see all the available recipes for one item. So, this is what I usually do. I usually just slap this open. Grab that. And bang it in here. And then I see what I can do. Okay. So... Ah, oh, Teratoma, that's for the hive mind if you want to spawn it uh, the other way. Filthy Glove. Stealth Strikes have 10% armor penetration and do more damage. Silencing Sheaf. Cool. Right, we're just checking for uh, for a summoning weapon real quick. I think that, that summon, the Dank Staff. Yeah, I remember the Dank Staff. That is after Hive Mind, because I think that's what the, the true Shadow Scales are from. Is that correct? It's hard to tell. So I don't think we're going to be making anything other than um, a shadow pickaxe. So let's dump that in there. Let's make a shadow pickaxe. And look, wait, no wait, nightmare pickaxe. I always get confused with the names. And then look at that, right? Two pickaxe upgrades in one episode. We went 10 episodes of that and upgrade. Two in one. All right, I bet you feel spoiled. All right, so that rounds it up for today's episode. Guys, thank you so much for watching. My, uh, my mug of champions arrived and it was... 
the best thing ever. Courtney actually snapped a pic of me opening it up for the first time. And it really does look like I'm holding a newborn child for the first time. I was that proud. Um, so go to chippymerch.com if you want to check them out. They're available for another, I want to say 10 days, 12 maybe. Um, give the video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and you liked what you saw today. And, um, and shout out as always to our channel members that are rolling by on screen right now. All right, see you on the, see you tomorrow for another Motivational Monday. Have a great resty weekend. Peace.